Hello, Brian Candido here, Professor C. Welcomes you back for another exciting Python tutorial. If you remember, we learned how to do inputting for someone's name, which is treated as a string or a text, and we put into a variable. So remember, code starts here and goes down. This happens, input. What is your name? You type in an answer, or response, I should say. Hit enter, and it's put over to here. We're going to do something slightly different here. The input always returns a string. A string has to be on this side. So watch this. What is your age? We're asking for someone's age. And it gets put into a variable sh. Why sh? Because it's a string. To get it to be numeric, we have to take the string, convert it to an int, and put it into a variable. So I got one for name, one string for name, one string for age that we turn around and convert to an integer and we write out to screen hello whatever name you entered you are whatever age you entered old let's run the code so I'm gonna put in my dog's name moose comment he is 12 years old I'm going strong I might add and here is the output I'm gonna resize this so you can watch what happened you can clearly see it came down asked for your name and I put in moose and then it asks for the age. Then it took the string, sh, converted it, and put it here. There is a way we could rewrite this code. We could take this. And then we could take the input and do what we call nesting. Put one function inside of another. This approach we ask, remember in math, you do the inner parentheses first. So this happens first. We ask for an age, it's converted to an integer, and then put into here. Two lines of code and two variables go away, and we get one variable. Let's try running the code. Let's put in, uh, put in my other dog, Katie Rover, which is Moose's mom. And she's going very strong at 14. There you go. And we chose an integer because we like to take ages in whole numbers. If we wanted to, we could make this a float. Change that to an F. Change this to a float. And come down here and change that to a float. Let's try running it again. We'll put in another name. Oh, we'll put in Moose's friend who lives next door, Caesar. And Caesar is six and a half. So notice, because we're using floats, I can have partial ages.